Hi there, folks. Welcome on this beautiful morning. Uh, I'm going to be sharing some thoughts around human capital. It reminds me of this uh, one time when I was at university in my fourth year accounting on my journey towards being a CA. We had this massive debate about the fact that human capital could not be tangibly put on the balance sheet. Why was this and how could we come up with a solution that would allow companies to show their, their employees as an asset next to all the other assets on the balance sheet instead of being flushed down the, the income statement? The long and the short is the accounting standards didn't really help us much and we weren't able to come up with a solution. But nevertheless, it begged this question, what if we could actually put human human assets onto the balance sheet so you could see it next to the desks, the buildings, the plant and machinery, whatever else, because it is more important than all those other assets. In other words, if you didn't have humans, what value would the table or chair be? Uh, what value would the plant and machinery be unless you got full on AI, which, which you know, can cover everything? So this whole concept sort of grew in my mind and yeah i'd like to raise some questions around how one can grow human capital but first let's just understand a few things first of all what is human capital from my perspective it's it's that collective wisdom that you find in the team which is based on the iq level so you've got let's say a whole team of people they've all got their individual iqs but it's not just simply the sum of their iqs uh, the analogy to draw is within my body i've got a heart a liver i've got all my organs individually they have a value however collectively they create something that's pretty priceless and i think that's exactly what it's like with in a team and where human uh, capital comes into play is that collective wisdom is that priceless piece where all these IQs get together and they create something that's exponentially much more greater than the sum of the individual parts. Now, as a leader, it's about influence. How can you influence this value? How can you increase this human capital value? And because it's not on the balance sheet, doesn't mean out of sight, out of mind. It is, I feel, the job of a leader, an influencer, to go out there and grow this human capital to maximize this collective wisdom. So here are some questions for those leaders out there. The first question is, have you got a PDP plan, a personal development plan for your team members? One of the most important aspects is EQ. And I'm going to just tie EQ into collective wisdom. First of all, EQ is that foundation on which IQ sits. In other words, you've got all this, these wonderful abilities between all your people. If they do not have the EQ capabilities, it reduces that collective wisdom. Now, EQ is not, it's about stress management, communication skills, conflict management. There's so much more to it. And a, a, a well-defined EQ program, and I'm just going to mention Beyond Thinking, because that's what we have done, is integrate all of this, is about growing this collective wisdom to maximize the ability to use the left prefrontal cortex, the executive center, so to speak. So what is the leader doing around this, uh, putting their people on the courses? Not only that, most importantly, after their folk have gone on these programs, what are the leaders what are you as a leader doing to support them as they come back into the workplace because that's when the program really starts working so often um, you know I hear people who say well they've got to go back to the office and how are they going to implement this because you know the people don't give them that support their managers don't give them that support I'm generalizing but in, in many cases I've discovered that so another question is have you as a leader gone on that EQ program alongside your team members so you understand what they are, are working on and, and therefore you can be in a position to help coach them through those changes and, and help them grow? Another very important question, I think, for you as a leader is around how can you appreciate your team? Now, appreciation in financial terms, when something appreciates, it grows. So we're going to talk the financial concept. How do you appreciate your human capital, your human assets that you have working around you? And, you know, the simple sort of things. Uh, do you show gratitude? Uh, do you show, uh, do you look for where things go right? Uh, do you celebrate the small wins? That releases such an important chemical into the body of your team members, you'll be amazed. It, it, it releases dopamine. So that dopamine is the reward drug and when people feel it, they want more. So they actually consciously start looking for doing more of the right thing. Another great question, what do you as a leader do around mistakes? Do you allow mistakes to happen in your team? I'm talking mistakes within fair reason. Do you allow that to happen? Because collective wisdom grows when we realize we are allowed to make mistakes. Too much of you are not allowed to make a mistake reduces, uh, increases stress and reduces the capability to think and can actually reduce creativity within the team. 
Do you as a team leader uh, support check-ins, uh, support open-door policies where people can come and ask you, share problems, but at the same time you don't take the monkey on your back. You say to them, go find the solution, let me know what you think, and let them develop solutions and grow. Uh, very important. Of course, it is about empowering your team and empowering that knowledge which empowers their collective wisdom. And finally, yes, as a leader, uh, how can you get your team to appreciate each other? A uh, very simple uh, uh, tool around this is to actually get them to simply share what they are good at within the team. And, and that kind of allows each one to leverage off each other's strengths. So those are just some ideas, folks. Uh, yes, until we chat again, take care and stay aware.